So I've been thinking about the process of building websites, especially now that AI exists. In 2010, I sold this website here. In 2025, I sold this one. Same sort of client, same sort of website and price as well. Here's the weird part though. One of them took me weeks to build. The other one, just a couple of hours. It's not because I magically got faster at typing. The whole process of building websites has changed from new frameworks to templates to AI tools. They've completely flipped the process on its head. So what even are website templates? At its core, they're pre-made designs. Instead of building every page line by line, instead you have a ready-made structure that's already responsive, styled, and functional. For example, it's like buying a house and walking into a room. Instead of it being completely empty, you have furniture and decorations and the walls are painted. And the cost of a website template is pretty low. It can be free to just 10 to $100, and for that you get maybe hundreds of hours saved in coding and development time. As long as I can set aside the ego of I coded this from scratch, templates make a lot of sense. They're faster to implement, which saves me a lot of time on high value work. They're also responsive and easy to customize, and they're not reinventing the wheel. And templates also mean less time on code, so I can ship more projects. I've got three questions then. Should I be using templates whenever I build a website for clients? Will clients even care? And do they notice? I decided to ask a few of my friends who work in different careers what their thoughts are. I'm Scott. I uh, look after a, a pharmacy and we look after the e-commerce store here. Do you use a template? Uh, we do use a template. And why do you use a template? Uh, it cut down our development time by quite a lot uh, and it works out of the box. Uh, I'm Rick William. I work in IT, so I get a lot of questions about all sorts of IT. Do you know anyone that builds websites is probably the biggest one because that's one thing that I don't do, but websites are not in my forte. Here's my first test. I wanna give these guys four websites and see if they can tell which ones are templates and which ones are custom made websites. These are all ones that I've sold and made myself, so I'll be interested to see if they'll be able to tell the difference. Here's the first one. Template or custom website? That is a custom website. Gonna guess maybe custom, but there's definitely a chance it's template as well. Next one. That is a template. I'm gonna guess template. And last. Uh, that is a template. This is a hard one. Um, looks really customized. Ooh, I would say almost definitely template. So here's a question. Do you think a customer should pay more or less for a website that's a template? Uh, less. A lot of the customization's all done. It's just going down into fine tuning the colors and positions of things. The biggest thing I found is we've looked at doing a custom built template. I guess there's quite a big cost involved in terms of doing that and time basically. And if you're not, if you're only a small to medium business or a small business, you may not be able to afford that cost or it may not be built into it. Would you use a template or would you try and make it yourself from scratch? I would 100% use a template to start with. Templates are so customizable that you'd probably need a professional to at least get the basics of that template up and running. Um, there's no harm in charging the same for two different websites, so long as it's what is actually agreed upon. One thing I was curious about is whether website templates are used just by freelancers or by website companies too. So I sat down with my friend Carl, who runs a marketing agency, to ask him this question. Hello, my name is Carl Moyes, and I'm a graphic and web designer with 25 years of commercial experience. So if I gave you two sites, could you tell which one's custom or template? I can tell the difference between a typical template website versus something custom designed. And often that difference hinges on the generic nature of a website. Templates really handy when you've got a tight budget or a tight deadline, or if you're relatively new to business. So do you have a preference of using templates or making a website from scratch? Not really. My preference is what's gonna provide the best value to a client, what's gonna bring the vision and the functions to life, and what's gonna support the client over the longevity or the lifespan of that particular website as well. When would you actually use a template for a website or for a client? I would use a template when time and or budget is a factor in a project. So at that point, if we invest a relatively small sum in a template-based website, if in six to 12 months we've got to redo that whole website, we haven't committed way too much money on a big custom functional piece that may be redundant within a period of time. All right, so do you think that the cost of a template should be lower, the same, or higher than a regular site made from scratch? Well, I would suggest that really the cost of the website 
should reflect the purpose or the function of the website. For example, I've got a bunch of templates we offer clients and if they're a brand new startup business, that template is probably the best option for what they need at this moment in time. So it seems that website design templates in 2025 are still a really good idea. I want to create a website template from scratch and customize it for a small business, like a dentist or an accounting company. We'll have a look at how quickly and easily we can customize it and publish it. And hopefully this gives you a better idea of how to do it yourself, even if you don't know how to code. Let's begin. I want to create this design over here for Moshi Moshi. It's basically a template version of their official website, which was custom coded to see how closely we can create a design and how quickly compared to something which took three or four weeks to do manually. First, I'm going to head over to Google and search up Wix Studio. It's a no code platform that allows me to build websites. There's also a link in the description below. Here, I'll select create and we're going to use one of their pre-made templates to build up a website. I'll begin by selecting create new site and selecting studio template. This will give me access to a number of free templates from the Wix Studio platform, which we can utilize. There's ones that are wireframes, which allow us to create just from a basic design. These are usually the ones I like to go with, but there are also ones that are things like marketing designs or portfolios or even landing pages. I like this one in particular, so I think I'll use it. I can also preview it here by selecting view and see a full screen version of it in action. And this one looks easy enough to customize. So I'm going to select here to edit, and this is going to open it up in the Wix Studio no code platform, which is now allowing me here to view and edit and modify it so we can start customizing it. What I want to do is customize the Moshi Moshi website, turn it from a custom website into a template website and see what it might look like if it was a template instead. So I'm going to copy over the logo and customize the colors to work with these ones here. First thing I'm going to do is grab the main color that we're using here, which is this teal looking color. What I can do is head over here to styles and here where we've got that custom color, I'm going to apply this color here to get that first color happening. Next, I want to add the logo because right now it's just plain text and I've got a logo from the previous website. So what I'm going to do is inspect this logo, pull out the SVG code and pull this into Figma. I save this here as a SVG and I'm going to export this. Then here in Wix Studio, I'll do quick add, I'll select a shape and drag this in since this is an SVG. I can upload my current SVG that I've just saved from Figma into this section here, and I'll use this for the header. Now that it's finished saving, I'll select to add to page and here it is. Let me drag this to the top left here and remove the text. Great, it's just a little bit too small and I need to reposition it. There are some special docking settings in Wix Studio on the bottom right here, which I can use, and I'm gonna select it to utilize negative 15 pixels from the bottom and the top. Actually, maybe negative 30. This perfectly centers it here in the header and it looks really good now. Now we can move on to the hero text. Right now it says beyond boundaries, but I want to have something very similar to what I had previously on the website. So I'll simply double click the text, change it to digital growth and maybe something like strategy. The text is a little bit too large, so I'm going to select all of it and resize it here to 64 pixels on the right hand inspector menu. For the second line, which is in the white text, I'm going to do the description text, which will say something like Moshi provides a blend of technical and creativity. This is a nice bold statement that should capture or hook people and give them an idea. I have these two buttons, projects and insights, and underneath that I have latest campaigns. I think I'll change this text as well to say something like latest web designs. and next Next, I can just simply update these three images to be the case studies that we present as the main feature examples. I'll select manage projects and it'll take me to the projects page. This is kind of like a database or a collection that allows me to view all the different types of items in here and easily customize them and then have the design represent those items. Let me go ahead and change these placeholder images and content with the ones that I've set up and saved from the Moshi website that I'm going to utilize. Here I've got a couple of logos as well as website designs, which I want to showcase as part of this website design template instead of these placeholders. 
This part does require a little bit of manual work, which does mean that I'm going through and changing things like titles, descriptions, images, selecting the cover image to use and selecting the focal point, and then updating this project's collection so that it can showcase this properly on the website. But once I'm done, I'll have something like this. Since this is all in a database, if I exit out of here, the website design with this repeating project section will just simply update. I don't have to do anything else to customize it. One of the benefits of a website template is that it's already responsive. You can see here as I've swapped to a tablet or a mobile viewport, all these sections, images, and text resize accordingly. And this is seriously one of the parts of creating a website that normally takes me hours to do. The next section I wanna customize for this website template is this learn about us. I wanna change this to more something about the actual team or Moshi itself. There is some placeholder text here about the Moshi team. So I'm gonna copy paste that in. I'll relabel this header section to the Moshi team and paste in the text just over here. And this is usually how quick and easy it is to customize a template. There's a few more sections I'm gonna copy paste over to the template website. And once I'm done, I can also update the team and the pictures themselves. Here's the team section. I've got quite a few different people that work with Moshi. So I've got this section here about what we stand for and I'm gonna convert this into a team section. I'll upload an image of each person and add their name so that it's a very similar look and feel to what we have on the custom side. For these next two sections, I don't really want to utilize them, so I'm gonna simply select them and delete the entire sections as a whole. This template is almost ready to go. I can always drag and drop additional elements in if I want some images under the contact us, or even if I want a pre-made section like some of the ones here under wireframes, which I can just drag wherever I need and then customize if I wanted to do something like that. With that, I've got the whole website ready to go. I'm only needing to publish it now, and that's actually one of the easiest steps. To publish this template website design, I'm just gonna select publish on the top right here, and now it's online. Here I've got the URL. I can always add a custom domain if I want to. And I can send this design over to a client or Carl at this point and ask him what he thinks, since this only really took me five to 10 minutes to do. All that extra time can now be spent on actual content and case studies. So what do you think about the difference between a custom website design and a website template? Hopefully this gives you something to think about next time you're building a website for a client.